Welcome back to my channel, uh, Third Grade Math and More. I hope you've been learning a lot from what I've been doing. Today we are going to be looking at multiplying using a number line. I hope this is going to be pretty easy for you to understand. I'm going to try my very best to make it as clear as possible. So please stay tuned. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Leave comments if this helped you. Thank you for returning or watching this video. So today we're going to talk about multiplying using a number line. It is definitely going to be one of the easiest things you'll ever do today or ever. So usually you know that multiplying requires you to keep adding or so on to get your number. Now, I'm going to show you how you can multiply using a number line. Usually there's the equal groups, there is repeated addition, there's the area model, there's the use of arrays, but as I said, this video is about multiplying with a number line. So let's first get our number line down. Uh, first few things I'm going to do, I am going to highlight a few things that need to be noted. The first number, let's call those the jumps. Or second number is what we're counting by. And this number right here is going to be our product or the last number it has landed on. So as the video goes on, you'll see that I'll call this J, I'll call this CB, and I'll call this P. The J is for jumps, the CB is for counting by, and P will be for product. So I'm going to put my lines down. How do I determine my lines? Well, I only know, I know that I'm only going to be jumping four times, so I don't need a lot of lines. For every number line, a number line must begin with a zero. So I'm gonna put my zero down. Now, according to this problem here, I am counting by six, so my first number will be six. So this is where we're counting by six. This means that for every single number that I get, I am going to be adding a six to get to the next number. So six plus six, that's 12. 12 plus six, that's 18, and so on. 18 plus six is 24, 24 plus six is 30, 30 plus six is 36. Now that I've done my number line, now it is time for me to jump so that I can get to my product. So according to this, I need four jumps. It's four jumps of six. So I'm going to jump one, two, three, four. I've landed on 24. See, I've put a square around this. That means this is the product. 24 goes here. I'm going to do a few more examples so that this becomes super easy for you to understand. But I will not forget to inform you, make sure you number your hops or your jumps. It is very important to number them. I'm also going to show you how to count your jumps because sometimes some people do get confused when they're jumping and I want to make sure that today, 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 you understand how to do your jumps. So let's do another problem. Let's do three times five equals, here's my little square. So my first number, J for jumps. Second number is CB, which goes for counting by. And this is P for product, but I will write the word product. Product is the answer that we get every time we multiply. So now we can draw our beautiful number line. If you remember what I said earlier, I know I only need to jump three times, so I don't need a very long number line. I don't. So I'm gonna draw hmm, that amount because I just need three jumps. I know I can make three jumps from this. Now, if you remember, every number line must start with a zero. So you have to put your zero down right away. Since we are counting by fives, then that's going to be our first number since we're counting by fives. Five plus five is 10. 10 plus five is 15. 15 plus five is 20. 20 plus five 
is 25 and 25 plus 5 is 30. So that is what we will do for this. Now, we are going to do our jumps. Now, I said I have to show you how to count. I tell students all the time, count when you land. Do not start counting here. One, two, because then now you've jumped twice when really you didn't really jump twice. You've only jumped once. So you jump or you count only when you land. So like this. One, two, three. Now I've made three jumps. I will not forget to label that I've jumped three times because when I've done all of this, I want to make sure I can point out every part of my problem. So where did I land? At 15. That means 15 is my product. It is the last number that was landed on. So where can I find my three jumps? Hmm. One, two, three. Where can I find what I'm counting by? Right here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Where can I find my answer or the product? Right here, the last number that was landed on. Doesn't that seem pretty easy? I hope it does. I told you I plan on making it very easy for you. What if it were 5 times 8? 5 times 8. Let me see if you remember what these are. Do you remember what this is? The first number is for the, if you said jumps, you are correct. The second number is for, if you said what we count by, then you are correct, counting by. And what about the last number, the last number? Did you say product? I hope you did, because that is the answer you receive or get when you multiply. So now we can start drawing the number line. This number line requires five jumps, five jumps. So make sure you have more than five lines. I think this should be able to do the job of getting five jumps. So what does every number line start with? I hope you said zero. So we have our zero. Then we are counting by eights, counting by eights. So right away we put eight. Then eight plus eight, because every number we are going to add eight. So eight plus eight is 16. 16 plus eight is 24. And we will continue with that. 24 plus eight is 32. 32 plus eight is 40. 40 plus eight is 48. And 48 plus 8 is 56. Now, how many jumps do I need to make? I need to make five jumps. How do we count when we jump? Do we count before we land? No, we count when we land. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Five jumps. Five jumps. What is the product? The product is 40. The product is 40. I'm going to actually do one more and then leave one for you to try on your own. Nine times four. But this way, this time I'm actually going to do it a little bit different just to see if you're really paying attention because this one is going to be a little tricky. But guess what? My smart ones, my scholars, they watch third grade math and more. So let's go with our number line. Yes, I forgot to label. This is for my jumps. This is for counting by. And this is for my product. But look at what I'm going to do here. Yes, I'm doing a lot of lines. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna do one more and one more here. 
one more here. I'm doing that because I want to do this one just a little bit trickier for you, just to see if you're paying attention. So we have zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Now I'm gonna change my pencil because it's getting too crowded. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. How many jumps am I going to make? I'm going to make nine jumps. What am I counting by? Counting by four. Hmm. But this number line isn't really counting by fours, is it? No, it's counting by two. So what would we do here? Hmm. Think about it. Think about it. What do you think we would do here if we're going to be counting by fours? So if you said you would jump from zero to four, you are correct. Because from here to here is one jump of four. Then we would make another jump of four which is this, because two plus two is four. So we only need to jump over two to consider it as four. Then we would make another one, so that's three, and then here is four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. So this is where we would stop at 36. So the product is 36. Label three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times four gives us 36. I hope that was very helpful for you. Now try this one on your own. Seven times three. Let me know what the answer is in the chat. I hope this was very helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.